So as per usual, I like to prime my face, um, especially when I'm going to be uh, adding so many layers of foundation, I like to layer on and prime. I'm starting uh, with a primer on my eye. I realized the last tutorial that I did that um, it kept the, the stuff that I was putting on my eye kept creasing and so I wanted to prevent that this time. Uh, I am taking the cream contour from Anastasia and I'm just using that um, peachy or orange tone just to kind of, kind of um, camouflage my moles. And then using the Tarte Full Coverage Foundation, I'm applying a thin layer and only in the areas that I need the um, coverage because I will be um, shading in the rest of my face. Now taking the Makeup Forever Flash Color Palette, I'm taking the white and kind of mixing a little bit of green just to give me, you know, some different tone. And again, just placing it on the inside perimeter of my face. I do apply another layer of the white just because I want it to be a little more pale. And that's pretty much for the foundation part of it. Now I'm just taking that same palette with the white and I'm concentrating more on the highlight points that um, that I um, have for this look, um, which is the nose. I'm bringing it up. Um, after this part, what I do is I take some, um, the uh, Kat Von D eyeshadow palette and I take the black in it with a... Um, thin angular brush I kind of start carving out I kind of map out what um, what I'm going to be doing so these are kind of going to be like the creases and I also brought it alongside the nose because those are going to be like the shadows so um, now I'm just mapping out the eye um, with just this um, angular brush And I do make a few mistakes, but it's okay because I do clean it up a later on with the highlighter shade. Um, here, I'm using that same brush and I'm concentrating on the creases under the eye. So these are going to be the little wrinkles that you'll see at the end. And so it, it's just creating shadows with this shadow, uh, with the black shadow. As soon as I am done with um, kind of mapping out, I go back with the flash color palette and then I start kind of carving out my cheeks. Pretty much contouring because I want to emphasize the cheek bone structure. So I am applying the Balac uh, cream onto the hollows of the cheek. And then now what I'm doing is I'm mapping out the, um, the structure of the face. I'm just taking a black pencil and because I want to make sure that the base of my lashes are bar black, I'm applying it first with that eyeliner. Then after that, I go back with with the flash color palette and the shadow uh i mean in the color black and then i'm doing it really sloppy again the one of the things that i learned in my last tutorial was that this does get a little greasy and it's why it creased up on me um and then it ended up having more of a shiny effect which i want this to be a really matte look so I'm applying a thin layer and then with this brush, dense brush, I'm buffing out the color. Um, what I do after is I take my blackest black eyeshadow 
which is from Makeup Geek um, in the shade Corrupt. And I set the entire eye area and it makes it really, really dark, black, and matte. Just what I wanted. So here I am applying that um, Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Corrupt and I am setting the entire eye area just what I went over with that cream now I'm going back with that shadow and like I said it gave me the perfect effect that I was going for which is the matte black now I switched back to the uh, angular brush that I was using to map it out and kind of going more um, detailed um, sharpening those corners and make sure that I have all the edges with that same um, eyeshadow. Now I'm just cleaning up that and um, darkening those shadows, those wrinkles around the eye area. And then um, I'm kind of just going randomly in different orders so that I decided to um, now concentrate on the shadows of the structure of my face. And since I already had done the outline, now I'm just filling that in with the black cream from the flash palette. I'm bringing it down to my neck area. Now taking that same Makeup Forever Flash color palette, I'm taking the white shade, and this is um, this is pretty much the um, where you can clean up any mistakes you have done around the eye area. But um, it's also very important to use the the shadows and highlights because that's what's going to make it kind of um, pop and become more um, dimensional. So I'm going in between the shadows that I created around the eye area and I'm applying the highlight. So all around the eye and in between the dark um, lines that I created, which are the shadows, I am going in with the white um, highlight. Now all I'm using is really a paint, uh, an arts paint brush. I also um, hit the highlight area on the cheekbones, and then um, under the eye area, I also applied the same highlights um, in between the shadows that I created. Now I'm just do, using the white, the same white cream, and uh, adding the highlights in the in the eye area. I'm taking the Kat Von D Shed and Light Eye Palette, and I'm taking the um, it's kind of this um, detailed brush and this brown, light brown shade, and all I'm doing is really blending out the dark shadows that I created. I obviously don't want them to be um, harsh lines so I'm making sure that it's all blended out and it really looks um, like shadows rather than lines on my face. 
And so I'm gonna go through every single line that I created and just blend it out. That's pretty much the key to this look is to blend out all the lines that, that we create um, and makes this look pop even more. Now I take I took this um, angular detail brush and I'm concentrating on the nostril area and all I'm doing is taking black shadow and making more of a triangular look on my nostrils. Once that's done, I'm taking, again, the lighter browns and this crease brush and, again, just blending it all out. I'm blending all the dark shadows with that brown and diffusing all the lines. I want to make sure that there are no harsh lines, that you cannot see any harsh lines. It just looks all buffed and blended. Also using the cheekbone area and then took back the the uh, foundation brush just to blend those harsh lines now I'm taking that same uh, fluffy crease brush and white shadow from the palette and I'm just um, setting the white on highlight on my nose and then just going back over some of the white highlight that I created now I want to create more shadow, more depth on my nose, so I'm applying uh, more uh, dark shadows. Um, I also didn't like uh, the sharp lines on the around the face, so I'm going in with another brown shadow and just diffusing those lines. I still want to keep those inner under the eye creases, um, those shadows, I want to intensify them even more. So after blending it, it they do um, kind of diffuse even more. So I just want to retouch them and make them a little more um, darker. But again, the key is to blend it out so you don't see harsh lines, which is what I'm doing now. And just concentrating more on the eye the nose area applying more shadows and now I'm taking this Anastasia liquid lipstick in the shade midnight and I'm I'm creating a new lip on the bottom part of my lip um, really really thin using the liquid lipstick actually made it um, last longer and smudge proof Now I'm just filling in again on the neck area and I will apply whatever's left of the foundation. I just, you know, created a little neck and this is it. This is my completed look. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you next time. Bye.